to areas three, four, five, and six on the um, mandible. And we're going to use the Gracie 1314, the Gracie 1516, and the Gracie 1718. The Gracie 1314, remember it's an area specific instrument. It's used in the distal direction, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, so now we have to check for the right end. So I'm going to put my fulcrum in first and I'm going to check it on the distal because this is a distal instrument. I'm going to look for the lower third of the shank and it should be parallel with the long axis of the tooth. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. No. No. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's really wrong when it's wrong yeah, that's with good these job. instruments. Okay. So now I'm going to fulcrum on era, um, tooth number 30. And I'm going to extend it slightly in my fingers. I'm going to start at the distal line angle and I'm going to pull in close to the tooth. Okay. And then slightly away. Now my shank and my handle are on the same side that I'm working on. And I'm going to go around the corner. When I'm done, I'm going to stop. I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to go to the next tooth. <laughs> Why? It's only on distals. Correct. It's only used on distals. So I'm going to do all my distals. Toe to tooth. Right now I'm just in the cervical third, but if I needed to go deeper, I would. Mm -hmm. And then as you come around here, if you need to straighten up your mannequin, and my mannequin is turned slightly away, I'm kind of at nine o'clock. So as you get to these premolars and the arch is beginning to curve, straighten up your mannequin slightly. All right? For area four, it's the mirror image of area three. So I'm just gonna move over. I'm gonna use my mirror to illuminate to retract the tongue and if I need to see around the distals as well. So I'm going to go in closed and then open. And remember, these mandibular teeth lean toward the lingual, so you have to too. That's because of that rhomboid shape of the proximal surfaces. So your shank is going to tell you what your working end is doing. You want to roll every stroke toward the tooth and go as far across that proximal surface as you can. Okay. So while I'm in three and four, I'm going to go ahead and do the mesials so that I'm not, I don't have to move. And we're going to use the Gracie 1516, and we, we've cheated a little bit here. We've put a black band on it, because when you look at it in your cassette with all of the bends going in the same direction, the 1516 and the 1314 look exactly the same. So it might be hard to identify your instrument by sight, so we cheat a little and we put a black band. All right, so this is used in the mesial direction, so we're going to check it on the mesial. So I put my fulcrum in, and I place it on the mesial. Okay. Now, I'm going to start again with my fulcrum on tooth number 30. I'm going to turn my toe in the mesial direction. I'm going to pull in close to the tooth or closed, which is closing it. I'm going to explore, insert, and then open slightly by pulling my shank away from the tooth and keeping just the terminal third of the toe on the tooth. And I'm going to work it across the buckle and across the mesial surface. When I get done, I'm going to move to the next tooth, adjust my grasp, go closed, and then open. 
and I'm using oblique strokes across the buckle and then as I come around the mesial I'll be using vertical strokes and I am um, using rolling my toe with every stroke now did you notice that I stopped and I took it out mm -hmm. and then I went back to the mesial so what I had to do is I had to insert closed and then open when I started over because mm -hmm. I didn't know exactly where I stopped so I wanted to go back in closed we um, explore the area So the closing and opening of your blade is very small, but you want all of your fingers, your three fingers here, together. All right. Mm -hmm. And for four, it's the mirror image of three, so I'm just going to move over to the other side of the arch, going closed and then open. And remember my lateral pressure is on my upstroke or my coronal stroke, not my apical stroke. And I'm overlapping each stroke and they're continuous. And you want your strokes to be slow. Don't rush them, because then you're going to miss the messages, mm -hmm. right? Now I'm going to go back to another one of our distal instruments, and that's the Gracie 1718. And you might say, well, we already have a distal instrument. Why, why are we using the 1718? Well, this is a really fabulous instrument. And if you look at it, it has all kinds of big bends in it. Mm -hmm. And it's perfect for molar teeth deep pockets, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe twelve millimeter pockets. That's going all the way down. And this bend out here gets everything out of the way of the tooth. You can go all the way down if you need to. So I'm going to go in closed and open. So you'd make a decision based on your perio probe readings if you needed to use this instrument. So you may not need to use it on everybody, right? Mm -hmm. So you can see if I stuck it all the way, see? And it, it gets all the way out of the way. It's nice, it's a nice instrument. All right, so now I'm gonna go over to the mirror image, which is four, going closed and open. And it's hard to keep the handle on the same side with this instrument because it's got all those bends. But you can keep the shank on the same side because it bends in that direction. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's a nice instrument. Nice instrument. Don't forget about it. So for our competency, are we really